Oh, hello and welcome! I'm going to explain the vertical timeline object. Now, in web design, a timeline is usually used to display a list of events in chronological order and is usually shown with a bar labelled with dates alongside the event entries. Now, a timeline generally has three major elements. We have a line in the middle that guides us through the timeline and connects all the information together. Then we have our events, here they are, which are the contents that you add to your timeline. And finally, the dates. They are included to show when a particular event happened. And in this object, you also have the call to action if you need it. Now let's have a look at this template. It's called the Mode Company and it can be customized by any kind of company with its own images, style, text and colors if you want. In this template, I added a page called Milestones. Here it is. And I used the vertical timeline object to present this company's achievements and milestones on their website. You can also use it to record the progress of a certain project or to show a process rather than several events. Now let's look into Website X5 and I'm going to show you this object. First of all, here is our page, Milestones. I'm going to open it and here is our object. If you don't know where to find it in the list, please look into Manage. Go into Utility and you'll find it in the list. Simply download it on this side and then hit OK. Now let's look into the object. Right, now on the left hand side you can add all your contents. As we said before, you need a date, a title and a description. You don't have to add all of them if you don't need them. You can also add your button with its own link. Now this is box number one. Box number two, for example, I have another date, another title and another description with my button and link. Very easy, you can add as many boxes as you like, up to 10. Once you've chosen your content, go into the right hand side where you can pick your style, here it is, line color, placeholder color, your background color and shadow if you want it. Once you've chosen this, go into the elements section. Now here you can customize your date, your title, your description and your call to action. This is a date for example. You can choose your font type and your color. In the title section, the same thing. The description, again, and the button. You can choose your font type your color, your background color, you can do it rounded or square and pick an inner margin. Your object is now ready to use. Let's look again at the preview. And this is your vertical timeline object. I hope you like this video. If you have any questions, please contact our help center.